So I'm about to get ready and head to the gym. Uh, I took off yesterday, so that's the reason why I have to go in today. I already mentioned that, I think. And today is gonna be a chest day. And I love going into the gym on a Sunday because it is absolutely nobody there ever. I mean, that gym is hardly ever full anyways, but on Sundays, there's nobody. So for pre-workout uh, meal, I only had a protein shake, a muscle tech protein shake because I had those donuts uh, today and I really don't need any more calories or donut calories anyways. I had one Chipley's glazed donut and then I had an apple fritter, but I only ate half of the apple fritter because these things are huge and super good, but I really don't need that full apple fritter. I will more than likely give it to Brady. Right, Brady? <laughs> But honestly, he doesn't really need that many calories either. So I'm gonna drink this protein shake and then I'm also gonna have a pre-workout and then we're head to the gym and kill this chest workout. Welcome back to another workout. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this chest workout. So the very first exercise I did was flat dumbbell bench press. I did a total of five sets. Now the rep ranges were 15, 12, 10, eight, and then eight again. So I went as heavy as I could go at this gym, which was 150 pound dumbbell. So I was lifting pretty heavy. I haven't lifted this heavy on dumbbells in a while, but I thought uh, switch things up, go heavy on dumbbells. Uh, instead of going heavy on barbell movements. Now this is 150 pound dumbbells here. Uh, I know I don't have perfect form because my head is lifting off the bench. Uh, I didn't even notice it until after I uh, did the whole entire set and then rewatched the video. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta keep my head down, but I guess I gotta do what I gotta do to get those 150 pound dumbbells up. After that went into incline bench press, I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps and the last set did a double drop set. So I stuck at 120 pound dumbbells on here. I did not go any heavier uh, because after doing Doing the flat uh, dumbbell bench press, I could feel some strain in my shoulders a little bit because I wasn't used to lifting that heavy with dumbbells uh, typically. So I wanted to kind of lay off and not go heavier than the 120 pound dumbbells because if I felt 100% fine, I would go up to probably the 130 pound dumbbells for those 12 reps. But I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to injure myself. After that, went into machines to get more volume in. So I started off with incline machine press. I did three sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. And as you can see, I did a neutral grip on here as well. Now this is all about trying to get as much blood into the muscle as possible. It's not about the weight. Now I am maxing out this machine because for whatever reason this machine is super super light. So I can never really go heavy on this machine unless I add bands to it which I've done before and it felt amazing. Uh, but it's all about trying to get as much blood after doing a heavier weight with the dumbbell. So after that went into neutral grip flat press. I did three sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set did a double Double drop set. Now the reason why I did the shirtless is because nobody was in this gym and I thought might as well get a cool thumbnail. So that's the reason why I went shirtless on here. So just going up, squeezing up at the top. So I'm going down in control the whole entire time. When I go up, I want to squeeze and pause up at the top just for like a split second, trying to get blood into that muscle. And that is the main point of doing these 12 to 15 reps on the machine. After that went into incline dumbbell flies. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set did a double drop set so what I'm trying to do with the flies is go down stretch down at the bottom go up squeeze up at the top not bringing the dumbbells all the way together because if I did that you lose tension in your chest and you want to keep tension in your chest the whole entire time so I'm going up close to touching but then going back down squeezing the whole entire time after that went into more flies but it was cable flies high to low cable flies I did six sets of these for around 12 to 15 reps on the last set did a double drop set. I was only resting for around 45 seconds in between the cable flies. That way I'm able to keep as much blood into the muscle as possible and it's not that heavy of a movement so I can recover pretty quickly. And on the last movement, I went into chest dips. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps, really until failure with those chest dips. And when you do chest dips, you wanna lean forward more than staying upright because if you stayed upright, that's gonna be more uh, for triceps. But if you lean forward, that's gonna be hitting your lower chest. 
And that's the end of the workout, guys. So I'm just going to run you through uh, some basics here. So I'm going up, stretching up at the top during this fly, uh, going down, squeezing. And then when I would hit failure with the fly, I would actually hit a few press movements around maybe five reps just to uh, further deplete my chest here. So you'll see me hit failure with the fly and then press them out for as many reps as I could do. And then after each set, I would do some flexing and posing. That way I could get as much blood into the muscle as possible. And uh, nobody was in this gym, so that's the reason why I did it. Because if people are in this gym, I typically don't do this that much because you kind of look like you know you got a big head if you're sitting there just flexing in the mirror the whole entire time. So this is the dips here. And as you'll see, I have my knees bent and I'm leaning forward like I was talking about. So if you're just more upright, you're going to be doing more triceps but if you lean forward that's going to be hitting that lower chest so that's the end of the workout guys i hope you enjoyed it if you want to give this workout a try it'll be written down in the description box so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and i'll see y'all next time all right guys peace Boom. good job you hurt your fist you punched that thing didn't you oh oh Boom. tell everyone night night Tell everyone night night, night night. Say I love you. Say I love you. He's intent. Yeah.